Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Guitar Slinger Hockey Channel. I've got a bit of an update review for you on the CCM SuperTax AS5 Pro and the Bauer Supreme Mock Skates. So I haven't gotten a chance to try it on the ice, either one of those skates on the ice, uh, so you're going to have to grain of salt everything I say here. However, comma, um, I no longer have to rely on somebody else telling me how they fit because I have tried both of them on side by side. Um, and I do know that they are, both skates are very nice, however I'm not going to purchase these or the, the mock skates because the FT4 Pro skates are working quite well for me. But I'm still going to bring you some information and my opinion on how they fit and some things to look out for. First and foremost, the CCM skates, these are as stiff as they always have been. So there is no stiffness difference that I can tell between this one and the AS3 Pro. So if you like your boots stiff, um, that's a good thing. If you don't like your boots stiff, that is uh, going to be a problem for you. They are very stiff. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing I'll tell you about these uh, is that I was expecting to go in and try on an 8 wide because that's what I'm in in the FT4 Pro and um, what you can expect is that the SuperTax AS5, um, AS5 Pro is going to be a more voluminous and wide skate all around no matter which sizing feature you choose. So if you want a tapered, regular, or wide, th they are all going to be um, generically wider and more voluminous than the FT4 Pro. So if you're someone with a high volume foot like me, then the SuperTax might be a good uh, ticket for you. So um, just just know that. It's not like an 8 wide in the Ribcore, Jet Speed, and SuperTax line do not all fit the same just because they are different designs. Uh, so that's probably common sense, but I, I want to make sure that you're aware of it. Um, the other thing I noticed when I tried this boot on is that the um, I don't think I would actually be an 8 wide in the SuperTax because it was actually, um, there was too much room in it, which is the first time I've ever said that about a retail skate um, in the last 5-6 years. It's, it's probably the only skate that I've ever tried on at the retail level, level that's just been, um, had more volume than I need. It's it's more voluminous than like a double E width Nexus skate from back in the day. Um, so maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I don't know. So um, the other thing I noticed is that the skate appears to be a little bit longer than the jet speed. So for example, um, an 8 in the AS5 Pro seems to feel longer than an 8 in the jet speed FT4 Pro. And I wasn't the only one who noticed that. My other two buddies that were there who tried it on in their respective sizes uh, all expressed the same opinion that the AS5 Pro seems to feel longer uh, than other models of CCM skate. So in my case, uh, I would actually uh, potentially be in a 7.5 regular width, which blew my mind, instead of an 8 wide. So um, you definitely want to go in and try these things on instead of blindly buying something online. Uh, and then for those of you who just can't try something on because you don't live in a good hockey market, um, I would recommend just ordering from a place that allows you to return them and just go that way, but uh, it's something that you should know about. Uh, from a standpoint, so I guess in, in my opinion, because the fit feels differently, um, I kind of see it as a pro and a con. So it's it's a con, which means like I'm not as confident about just going into a store and buying a, a pair of these um, without you know really dialing in the size and making sure it's right. Um, but at the same time, it does enable a larger foot to get in these skates. I feel like there's like a better, um, a higher amount of people that can actually get into these skates now than ever before. So that is a pro as well. Um, so. I think from a the standpoint of the the way the boot itself fits, um, I think they did a really good job with it. It looks like it's definitely um, an improvement over the um, the AS3 Pro for sure, especially that toe cap. The toe cap is done really nicely, just like it is on the FT4 Pro and then the 100K Pros. Um, the tongue has been done really nicely too. Um, it's still like. A little much. I definitely prefer the jet speed tongue, but you can always switch them out for something a little bit more um, low key if you want to. Um, I think that people are probably going to have 
a issue with how the liner looks inside of these boots. And I know that's a kind of a minor thing, but I should point it out. I didn't take a picture of it, unfortunately, which is why we're looking at an old stock photo of this. But um, it's uh, the entire lining is camouflage, which, eh, whatever. <laughs> but um, then the, the insole of the skate is actually... Um, Definitely an improvement over what's been coming in previous generations of skates. Uh, you'll just have to check it out for yourself, but uh, it's something that you can actually leave in the boot now versus like throw it away and go pick up a pair of super feet. Something to consider. The other thing that was really done nicely on these boots is the high ankle abrasion areas that are the, the gold padding at the top of the boot. Um, that actually goes down into the boot quite a bit further um, and it's it's a lot more comfortable than other skates that are out there and definitely more comfortable than the CCM, uh, the other offerings from CCM. So that was definitely an improvement in my opinion. Uh, so the, the main concern that I have to hint at, and I can't tell you directly what it is, um, that is the, the biggest con is something that you'll probably have to go find out for yourself. Um, I've been asked not to say anything about it, so I'm just going to cryptically give you a, a heads up to go and do some research on these boots. Um, there have been some uh, issues regarding manufacturing, um, and I'll just leave it at that. So go to make sure you talk to people and ask questions about it and see what kind of answers you can get. Um, before you go and pick up the skates. Um, so I know it's being resolved and I don't know how far along it is, but just worth going to ask some questions if you can, uh, if you can do that. So anyways, aside that aside, it's not going to be a long-term problem. Um, I think the boots are going to be, a, a, a winner. Um, and I think they're going to be, I think most people will probably like them, but maybe not quite as much as, um, the Bauer offerings, or maybe the Jet Speed. I don't know. We'll have to see. But that's what's going on with these skates. Um, the main thing to look out for is that manufacturing thing, um, and also the fact that these boots seem to fit differently than other CCM models uh, that are out there currently. So make sure you don't blindly buy them without knowing that they're the right size for you. So with that said, let's move on over to the Bauer Supreme Mock skates. Okay, so I think these are pretty much just an upgraded Ultrasonic. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Um, they're really cool. They're blacked out. I dig it. It looks good. Um, I think that the tongue, they did a pretty good job with the tongue. It's probably the nicest of the Supreme tongues that's come out in a while. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be difficult to get a, you know, to, to get broken in. Um, I, I think it's a good supportive tongue. It's got some good protection to it. It felt felt very comfortable. Nothing felt weird about it. The boot does have a, a nice wrap to it, just like the Ultrasonic did. Um, the, the area of question, uh, if you look at this picture below the second eyelet, you see that gray flexible sliver of something in there. Um, the, I now that I've seen it, I heard uh, I heard the beer league hockey bum talking about this one, and I we're kind of he doesn't know that I'm on the same page as him, but I would say that I'm kind of skeptical of that little area to kind of breaking down or falling off or some sort of failure at that point uh, in the the eyeliding system, eyelet system. But you know these are just speculations, so I can't really tell that for sure. But and definitely worth raising an eyebrow over, um, but you know I don't know if that would I would let that stop me from buying the skate. Um, what I will say is the lining feels better than what was in the ultrasonic boot. Uh, the padding, I, I think it's all the same, but maybe the lining feels a little bit different, and it's in a good way. So it it feels kind of like what's in the hyperlight, but I don't know if it is. I feel like the the Lockfit Pro Liner is, is like, you know, maybe a different thing, um, which is the, the Lockfit Pro is what's in this boot, but it feels better um, than what was in the Ultrasonic, and it feels similar to the what's in the Hyperlite, which is a good thing. So, yeah, for what that's worth. Um, the 
main difference that I will say about these skates, having been in the Ultrasonics for a while, is that um, the forefoot width of the Ultrasonic feels wider. It feels wider than the ultra. Uh, excuse me. The full. The <laughs> if I said ultrasonic, I meant mock. Uh, slip of the tongue here, but uh, the the mock in the forefoot is feels a little bit wider than it did in the ultrasonic. So, for example, wearing an eight foot three in the ultrasonic, um, it was squeezing my forefoot together, um, and it's not so much of an issue on the mock skates. Now, talking to the person I know about these, um, he mentioned that Bauer quietly um, added 20 millimeters of width. I don't know if that's right, but that I can see that for, from, what it, from what it's worth, it feels like a wider forefoot um, in the mock skate. So that probably opens the door for uh, some folks that have the need for more volume or more width in that area. Um, and... A lot of you know from watching my previous videos that I was not a fan of the ultrasonic boot because of the rivet that's holding the toe cap on. Um, so far, when I was trying it on and wandering around the store, I did not notice that rivet um, on the mock skates, and I'm guessing that it's probably due to the increased width of the forefoot. And if for some reason they didn't actually widen, widen the forefoot and, you know, I, I don't know what they did, however, it is not a problem on the mock skate, whereas it is a problem on the ultrasonic skate. So um, I think the mock is an upgrade in that in that regard. Um, the last thing I will mention uh, is about the steel. So the rest of the boot doesn't have any uh, real differences um, aside from the width of the forefoot and the tongue maybe being a little bit different here. So the, the steel here, the LS Pro or the LS Pulse TI, um, I'm no longer a fan of that now that I've seen um, a couple of sets of that actually rust over. Um, so not, not interested in that anymore. So if you can swap, you know, switch that out with Blade Tech or Flare, something like that, I think you'd be doing better um, than using the steel that comes with it. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad steel. So um, I think what I will say about these two pairs of skates is they are both improvements over their predecessors. So this is an improvement over the Ultrasonic, and the AS5 Pro is an improvement over the AS3 Pro. Um, however, you definitely need to go and try this stuff on for sure. Um, but I'm definitely seeing some things I like about it. And I think the only thing that we're going to have to keep an eye on with regard to this skate uh, is that little gray sliver springy thingy. Um, I don't know if that's the technical term, but whatever. So anyways, I hope this was a bit of a um, useful video for you. Um, again, not a whole lot to say about this stuff. Um, oh, one difference I will tell you between the Mach and the Super Tax. Uh, the Mach definitely has a more aggressively forward-pitched boot than the Super Tax do. So if you're used to skating in Bauer, the Mach will feel, uh, feel very uh, natural to change over to, whereas, um, as I mentioned in my FD4 Pro video, um, with a super tax, you're going to have to go ahead and um, do a profile on your steel and really dial in that pitch specifically in order to make it feel uh, similar to the mock. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, hope this was helpful and reach out if you got any questions. I'll do the best I can to answer them. Um, but peace out and we'll talk again soon.